And I choose to not believe that what I feel in my heart is is a lie because it feels too certain to me. Invite the magic, believe in your dreams. You can do anything. Trust your heart, be who you wanna be. Hi, I'm Annie, and you're watching Invite the Magic. Invite the magic with Annie. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, following your heart. But I have this way that I want to share it with you. So first, if you'll just take a breath in and out with me, breathe in, hold it, exhale, relax, 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 and just like tap into your heart for a second. The inner, the inner knowing within you. Okay. So what I want to share with you is... What I believe is we're either trusting the happiness, the joy, and the truth, or we're trusting the doubt, the fear. Either way, we're betting on something. We're either betting on like the fear, like worst case scenario, or a statistic to be what's going to happen, or we're betting on a feeling of goodness and joy and divine inspiration. And there's no predicting the future either way. That's the thing, is like, even when you are choosing not to follow something that you have an idea for, you're not, you, you don't know that it would have not worked. Like, we have no predicting. We cannot predict either way, either path. And so, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go back to a moment when you knew something deep within your heart or your soul or your gut, whatever, the way you think of it. When you felt an emotion that was... For me, how it feels for me is overflowing with gratitude and like too much emotion of like, like the, the goodness that life is. When, when that feeling comes to you, when you're like, how is this happiness coming into my soul? Go to a moment like that for you. Or a moment when you said like, this is what I'm here to do. It doesn't matter. And I don't care if it was like, I'm going to save the sea turtles. I don't care if it was like, I just cannot wait to to be parents or it can if it was like I just really think I'm supposed to start this kind of company or if it was like I'm gonna do whatever it takes to go on this sailing trip and see these certain kind of whales like whatever it was it's not about what it is it's about you knowing and trusting you okay so that moment you know we're talking about that moment with the star, with the, with the magic, with the hearts, with the love, with the happiness, with the joy, with the smiles, with the gratitude, with the crying, with the I can't breathe because it's so happy. That's where we're going. So through the rest of our life, we have a choice. We're always, we always have the opportunity to forget that and disbelieve that. We always are given the opportunity to say, yeah, that probably was just like wishful thinking. That probably was just not real or that probably was like exciting but it's not really doesn't mean it's what I'm supposed to do you have the opportunity to make that choice and you also have the opportunity to say I don't feel the motivation right now but I'm gonna trust that that feeling was true back when I knew what was true was true back when I felt peace in my heart I'm gonna trust that when you felt peace before it probably was true it probably was the right thing for you to do and we are human beings on this earth and we're spirits living in human beings. That means that we can't feel the same thing for 24 hours. It's impossible to be in the same emotional state for 24 hours. So what do we have to do? We have to trust ourselves when we felt the truth. We have to trust when it was true. That's the only option we ever really have. I mean, we have the option to not, but what's that about? Like, what's that about? Like, what, what faith is, is, is like continuing forward and trusting the trust. So as you can tell what this video is about is, is about trusting what you know, trusting what you knew if you don't feel like you know it right now. Like this song for me is one of those. Like this song says everything to me. And I choose to not believe that what I feel in my heart is, is a lie because it feels too certain to me. It feels certain, it feels hopeful, it feels knowing, it feels 
absolutely like obvious. And when I when I come to moments when I am like doubting or questioning or like, oh well, these are the results that I'm experiencing, so maybe and then my mind starts wandering off into like different paths. All I can say is um, all I can say is I don't know the future. I don't know what the plan is. I just know what I feel. That's all I know. And nobody else knows what I feel. That's the thing. And I don't know what you feel. And nobody knows what you feel. That's what we have to remember is there's lots of different paths. And and if, if a, a lot of things that we enjoy today and who we're inspired by and who made a difference, they were the most courageous people doing things that, that didn't make sense. And it wasn't like the easiest thing to do. But that's what we gotta do, right? So if you don't know what that moment is for you, that moment I was talking about earlier, or if you haven't had that moment, if you're like, I don't know what excited me like that, or I don't even know what I'm passionate about, I, I promise you that, you're, that you have something. I, I promise you. And I can promise that with such certainty because I just believe that if you're watching this video right now that you need to hear this because that's what I believe. And I believe that I'm supposed to be saying this right now and I believe that you can find the excitement. And I believe it starts with the willingness to believe that you have it. And I believe the willingness to believe that there's a different perspective. Like if you're not willing to think that there could be another way of thinking about life or the world or energy or or just your reality or this whole existence, just be willing. And and what steps what are you willing to do? And and I, I will say that before you begin any sort of wanting to be better at something or wanting to go for something, then your brain is for sure gonna say like, this is why you should wait. And I think if I, if you know that now, if you know that when you get the inspiration, something inside of you is gonna be like, yeah, let's start right now. And then secondly, something is gonna say like, cool, maybe in a month, in a year, tomorrow, next Monday. No, 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 schedule it now. Schedule it now, sign up now. You cannot wait until you're better at something before you start getting better at something. You just start now with your own guided inspiration. What feels good to you? What what course feels good to you? What degree feels good to you? What path feels good to you? Maybe that's as simple as it is. And when I say that, I mean like deep in the core of your being, like, or if you flipped a coin and you're like, please land on this one, please land on this. Maybe that's your sign, dude. When the road goes up ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said, cause you got a friend in you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your life. I mean the Okay, if you're still watching, I love it. I'm gonna save this as an IGTV though, anyway. So, let's, let's finish this off with this promise we can all make together. We can, we can remember that your goals don't have to be like realistic in someone else's eyes. Like, what do you want? That's all there really is to it. Like, guys, look at me. Pretend this is you. And then this is your city. And then this is your state. And this is the United States. And then this is the world. And the world's just spinning. And you're just here. Why would you not? Like, if there is somewhere calling your name, you can decide that you're going to go there. And then you're going to make a way to make it happen. This is not about being irresponsible. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like this is not about being irresponsible. This is about you being a creator, actually. It's about you saying, actually, I'm gonna do this. Actually, this is what's happening because I'm deciding this is what's happening. Okay, are you with me? 
So, like, it's like, actually, I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's all I have for you today on Invite the Magic with Annie. Remember, tomorrow I'm releasing an episode of the Disney Desk, and I'm talking to you all about Mickey Waffles. Okay. Bye-bye.